Philadelphia police are investigating after a three year old boy was hit by a stray bullet. This morning, we're hearing from the Good Samaritan who jumped into action to help the boy and his mother. For more on that, let's check in with our Rossi Mateus at Children's Hospital, where the little boy is being treated this morning. Good morning, Ross. Good morning to you, Jim. Like you mentioned, police believe it was a stray bullet that hit this young boy in the face. And while they search for whoever fired that shot, we are learning that the young boy who was hit may not have made it if not for the fast actions of a Good Samaritan. I just saw a woman. Running up the street yelling. Mika Outlaw was about to unload some groceries at her home on Taney Street in Gray's Ferry around 5 p.m. on Sunday when she says she heard a mother and her baby crying out desperately for help. I hear a woman just carrying a baby, yelling up, to, yelling, running down the street. And I guess it was just the mom instinct, you know. Philadelphia police say the three year old little boy had been hit in the cheek by a single stray bullet. I was too scared to really look. Over at the baby. So I don't know where he was hit. I just saw a lot of blood. Outlaw says she didn't waste any time getting the mother and toddler in her car in search of help. I realized I didn't think my car was going to make it all the way over to Children's Hospital, but I knew it was the fire station on Grace Ferry Avenue. So that's why I just brought them here. Outlaw rushed the two to this firehouse on Grays Ferry Avenue while she also called 911. Yeah, I yelled to the firefighters that the, um, the, ba the, the baby bleeding and the fire department, I mean, they just, they just jumped into action. Firefighters took over from there, rushing the boy to Children's Hospital where he is in stable condition. For this good Samaritan, she's hoping she did enough. I have a one-year-old. I'm a school teacher and it's, I'm hoping, I hope he's okay. Now, police have not made any arrests yet in this case. They did tell us that they searched the mother's home, but they didn't find any weapons, nor did they find any shell casings there. As for that little boy, police tell us that he is staying here at CHOP to undergo that emergency surgery, and we're hoping that he's able to make a full recovery. We're still working to find out if that surgery was successful. Of course, we'll bring you any updates as soon as we get them. Jim, back to you. Thank you, Ross. Appreciate that update.